Welcome, and then I'm going to start the meeting now. So this is our monthly chaos meeting. Welcome, everyone. I sent out an agenda ahead of time. Was there anything else any of you would like to add to it? Is the, is the IRC channel chaos? Chaos-community. Okay. okay, I'll add IRC channel to the... Um, to the agenda. So then the first item is an update of Google's Summer of Code. And I see at least one student. Sean, you're yeah. more involved with the mentoring. So we, have, we have two Google Summer of Code students. Um, one of them has joined us here today, Keanu. Um, so I would let him introduce himself if he wishes if you want to do introductions um okay yeah sure um hi um my name is Keanu I'm from um Trinidad um that's in the Caribbean um I'm studying computer science at the University of the West Indies and I'll be working with Sean and we're working on uh, Percival data backend and um Augur making more data processes involved, making, making basically more data sets and portable into multiple sources and uh, expanding some of the capabilities of uh, Percival. So. Yeah, good news. Welcome to the community. Welcome to Chaos. Thank you. And I understand it that we have the bonding period right now, and then actual work starts next week. Um, the bonding period. Sorry, I did not. Your, your 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 voice is, by the way, a little bit softer than Keanu's is, at least. I don't know if other people are seeing that as well or not. Okay, is it better now? That's much better. Okay. Yeah, I think Eric was asking the, when the internship project actually starts. Is it next week or like? I believe technically it's May fifteenth, so we're in kind of okay. an onboarding period here. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, we're giving Keanu an informal opportunity to sort of familiarize himself with how our projects work. And yeah. Feel ready to hit the ground running, and he's here to see all of your smiling faces. Cool. Cool. Anything else on Google Summer of Code? No, then I don't think so. We can uh, move on to updates on the upcoming conferences and ChaosCon. Jesus uh, put together the um, ChaosCon team the organizing team, and we have started uh, creating a call for participation. Sean has the room reserved, and so work has started. It's the day before Open Source North America on August 28th, right? Yes. OK. Thumbs up. I made, uh, I made some, some assumptions initially, and I uh, wanted to make sure. Yeah. And right now we have one room, but we we're talking about getting two rooms. We're yeah, getting two rooms, yeah. Uh, I emailed um, after our meeting last week uh, in Omaha, so which is a separate thing. But that's what I did. It so I haven't heard back yet, but it's only Tuesday, and it's the end of the semester for academics, so not worried. Good. So the idea is that we have two rooms. Uh, one large one with up to a hundred people and a smaller one with maybe 40 so that we can have a large keynote session or Speakers where we have everyone in one room and then we can split it out into two tracks and we'll design the agenda once we have the proposals in Anything else on ChaosCon? 
Yeah, I just also posted a, pasted a link to, uh, we have a folder in, in the governance repo, I guess. We, we have a draft of the call for participation. I mean, Georg, I think you started that, and uh, Don made some, uh, Don made, suggested some edits. It looks, looks good, but uh, you can go check it out. And that's what the programming committee is working on, as Georg noted earlier. But, Yes, thank you, Ray. The uh, link is in yeah, the RC right. channel. Yep. I'll post it on the chat window as well, I guess, in case people are not on IRC. All right. Do we have any activity going on at OzCon or uh, uh, what's the other one? Sohil? Uh, so for, oh, uh, you mean for like a community leadership summit before Oscar in Portland, right? Or, Kevin, uh, or or members giving presentations? Yeah. Uh, so Jarno gave us a keynote slot. So I, I mean, he listed me there for now. So it'll be either me or Ildiko or whoever else is there. So we have a 15 minute keynote on. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's only 15 minutes. So we'll give a brief overview of chaos. That's, as a project and, and probably talk Oscar. about like a metrics in, in practice. That's the community leadership summit that happens the two days before OSCON. Yeah, it's a week, weekend before. Yeah. yeah. And then at Sohil, we don't have anything formal. It'll just be, we have some presence there and if anyone wants to do something spontaneous, they can do that. And the same so same for the rest of the community leadership summit or OSCON. I think Jesus and some of the Biturgia folks wanted to go there. So they might do something spontaneous, go out for a beer, set up a hackathon spontaneously or something. Yeah. Okay. And then open source summit North America, all the proposals are submitted. And now we are waiting for the response. Any other upcoming conferences or notes on what we are up to next? All right, then we can move on to the next topic, which is uh, the webinar series. We've had three webinars so far. On um, Sean, I think you gave one on Augur. Yep. Jesus gave one on uh, Grimoire Labs, and Matt gave one on the Intro to Chaos. And we are uploading them to YouTube so that they're accessible for everyone, and we can rewatch them later. Um, right now, I'm not aware that we have any more webinars scheduled. Does anyone have any more ideas or updates on that? Georg, <coughs> excuse me, it's Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um, I, I'm wondering, um, good morning, or good afternoon. I'm uh, wondering if we might um, uh, do something around the diversity and inclusion work group through the webinar series if we haven't already. That's an excellent idea and we have not yet. Okay, okay. I, I'm thinking um, uh, once we've done some work on the foundational goals and have maybe the timing is um, a few a few weeks out still, but um, once we're further along with that, it would be great to um, uh, to do a webinar uh, on what we've been working on in that work group. Sounds like a good idea. We'll keep okay. it on the books until we are ready then. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I also had a quick question on webinars. I mean, for, for people like Sean, I mean, do we know like roughly how many people uh, were watching the webinars live? I, I know it'll be uploaded on YouTube so other people can watch them. But I can see the number yeah. of people involved, just like I can't because we use the same tech that we're using for this meeting. Oh, okay. We had five on the one I did. I don't know that they've been 
bigger than that. Georg and Jesus isn't here, and Matt did the other one. I don't know if Georg knows how many people were live for that. Okay. They've only had a small number and the same mm-hmm. usual suspects. Right. Like two or three live for the one Matt did. Yeah. And then on the YouTube channel, last time I checked, there were not that many watchers even afterwards. So right now, okay. there's not a lot of um, visibility that we get from it. But mm-hmm. we are also just now experimenting with the format and we are building up a repository that we can direct people to. Right. Yeah, the okay. Twitter, the Twitter I mean, once we build the library of things, maybe uh, I mean, we can look into like promoting the set of contents. I guess that we have. Uh, that's that's something we can think about. But um, with uh, promoting it, do you mean putting it more on the website or? Yeah, or even I was I was going to talk to also like a folks at the LFs and see if it can. Uh, uh, help us like promote some of the contents that we have, but uh, uh, it's just an idea. I mean, I'll, I'll have to talk to like people like Kate and others and see if that's something that they can help us with. Yeah, that would be helpful, especially if they have yeah. insights on how we can better structure, record, or produce right. these webinars. Right. Uh, Keanu, I'm gonna mute you. No, I cannot mute you. Can you mute yourself? It's okay, a very sure. loud background noise. Thank you. Ray, I think that's a um, great idea. Uh, you know, once we have a library of content to, um, right. yeah, to make sure that we're uh, tweeting about it or can the Linux Foundation help us to, um, to, to drive more eyeballs to this content would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe something like a blog that, you know, maybe we can do, uh, you know, something like an anniversary blog uh, and and talk about some of the things that we've done so far. And that would be sort of a good way to uh, get people's attention to, oh, by the way, if you want to learn more, here are a set of uh, webinars that people can uh, choose from. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So with that goal in mind, are there any webinars that we that would be helpful to produce next? Uh, I mean, I, I actually really like Nicole's idea. Like, I, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, diversity of inclusion, you know, once that webinar is out, then, you know, growth, maturity, and decline, we've then done, you know, a decent amount of work on it. I mean, that's, uh, you know, maybe different work groups could, could pick a topic and, and uh, have a, a sort of a pipeline of uh, like webinars kind of planned. Uh, just an idea. Oh, I like that. Almost right, like an editorial calendar of some sort. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Any other topic ideas or something people are interested in seeing? All right, last call for topic on webinars. With that, we're going to move over to the working groups, updates from the working groups. Uh, Sean and Nicole, you two are representing the two most active working groups. So, Well, I think, I think the growth maturity decline working group exists and it's having its first meeting on Thursday, so I will pass the update baton to Nicole. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Sure. And uh, Danielle's on as well, um, I, I believe. Oh, yes, Danielle. Sorry. Oh, excellent. No, no Hello. worries. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, Georg, as you mentioned, we've submitted uh, two sessions to the Open Source Summit. Um, one that is exclusively around the Chaos uh, DNI workgroup and <clears throat> what we've accomplished to date, um, and um, how that is uh, how how the research um, that we've undertaken in the OpenStack community has uh, helped form the workgroup or the basis of the workgroup, and how in turn the workgroup. Um, has has uh, impacted the evolution of that research, and then the next um, the second session 
uh, focuses on uh, what action um, can we take, right? So what are the next steps? Um, and uh, that involve that includes um, some of the folks from the DNI work group and um, uh, some folks outside as well, um, uh, like Jennifer Clower from the Chasing Grace project. Um, so those sessions have been submitted. Um, we have been working on um, the goals uh, of the work group. So. Um, Gosh, we've had a new person uh, join us, which has been fantastic, uh, Anita Sarma, from associate professor from Oregon State University, has joined um, the, the work group. That, so that's been fantastic uh, to see um, uh, new faces. Um, and then uh, Emma has been really active uh, as well. Um, and then, of course, da Danielle and I and Georg Yu and uh, some others. Um, and um, so our next meeting is, uh, Danielle, keep me honest about this, Wednesday, May 9th at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, and I'm due to get a message out um, to the mailing list about that uh, next meeting. Danielle, um, that was my update, but please uh, feel free to chime in. Oh, well, uh, it was Great, Nicole. So thank you. But uh, just to, to mention here that uh, we are going to try to be faster uh, producing things. So uh, it happened that we were discussing during the meeting. So we are trying to have some homeworks before the meetings to have some more discussion during the meeting so we can advance in the, in the topics. So good will. Yeah, a great call. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. So we heard from growth mature and decline, more to come after the first meeting and diversity and inclusion. Any comments, questions, concerns before we move on? I guess we were one one thing I will say is that um, we are due. It's it's slightly related. Um, we are due to publish the next OpenStack diversity research report um, with the uh, just before the OpenStack summit um, in Vancouver, uh, May twenty first through the twenty fourth. Um, so that's been uh, part of. Uh, Part of part of the research that has formed the basis for the work group. So the next edition will be coming shortly. That's good news. Any way that we as the chaos community can help with that? That's a great question. Yes, we can certainly. Once it's um, uh, published, I, I would we would love um, uh, help in uh, promoting it and getting it out there. Um, so I will. Um, We'll, we'll send you uh, links um, when they're available. Sounds good. Even in producing it, that we can help in, uh, I don't know, proofreading or helping in other ways? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're happy to, to send a, a link to the, um, to the work that is currently in progress. Um, we're wrapping it up this week. Um, but any any input would be great. So we're happy to send the um, the link to this team and and um, welcome any input that you may have. Hey, Nicole, do you is there a session where this is going to be presented in in Vancouver in a couple of weeks or? I what well, there. I'm trying to think. There's a section. So so with this edition. Mm -hmm. I, I should mention this. With this edition, there's really been, we're, we're highlighting the importance of mentors and mentorship programs. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been working with folks like Victoria Martinez de la Cruz to collect information like that um, from Outreachy, from Google Similar of Code. Um, and so we do have a session where um, I'm and there. Um, uh, Kendall is there from the um, OpenStack Foundation, and Victoria yeah. is there. Um, so we have um, a session focused on the mentoring part of it. What we are planning to do is to release two infographics in addition to the report. Two mm -hmm. infographics. 
an infographic that gives the um, the top line numbers, uh, and then one that specific, specifically focuses them on mentoring. So that's the content that's planned. And then one of the other things that I'm doing is, um, and I think that Danielle is also uh, doing, we're, we're each writing blogs uh, about the content. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of different content pieces uh, that are framed around the research. Um, the session, in, in, but you're, to go back to your question, the sessions specifically, there's one focused on mentoring and the numbers in the report specifically around mentorship. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I think like for most of the sessions at OpenSec, I think they're recorded. Um, so, you know, following the following the summit, I, I guess it'll be good to sort of highlight that as well or get people to yeah. pay attention to that. But so. Yeah, you, you know, if it would help, I can send um, in the, through the mailing list, here's what's happening. Yeah, why don't I do that? I'll, I'll plan to do that. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. I assume you're going to be there, right? But yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be there too. I'll I'll oh, be mostly at the like the Open Dev event that's okay. co-located with the with the Open Stack Summit. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to like attend the mentorship session, but yeah, I'll definitely do my best. I also don't get in until Monday night and leave like on Thursday, but. I'll try oh, to find you. Okay. okay. Is there also be great. a uh, yeah. live streaming link for those sessions? Uh, outside of the keynote, I can't remember, Nicole, if other sessions are live streamed. I know the keynotes are sort of live streamed or the videos are put on the website like pretty quickly, but okay. the non keynotes, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I know that, yeah, I know that they're recorded. Uh, yeah. But yeah. but I think I I think um, Ray I think you're correct I don't think there's live streaming of them. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Then we can move on to the next topic I suppose. Any objections? Then we are on the metrics updates. Any updates on the metrics committee? So I can give an update of what's been happening. We had uh, people also lose video. Oh, so internet connection is unstable. Our internet is unstable here at the university. Okay, it's working out right now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine now. But okay, so I can I can give an update. Um, Matt's uh, class here produced several pull requests to the metrics repository. So please do go and check out the pull requests. It's uh, several metric detail pages that are proposed to be added. Um, I was waiting until after this call and giving everyone a chance to take a look before merging them. Let me pull up the... Um, link here. There, I'm posting the link on the RGC channel and on the Zoom chat. So please do go and check them out. The Matt and I and Kevin have a plan tomorrow to work on transforming the next category, probably risk into the GQM format. And that's that's all that I know for now. Most of the work in the on the metrics themselves are being moved to the working group, so there's not much else to report right now. Did I forget anything? All right, then we can move on to the next topic, software updates. Anyone else, anyone has an update from the software committee? I don't think we have an official, we haven't really met as a software committee, we have a, 
um, sort of meetings. I think we're directing much of our attention for the working groups right now. I know Daniel has any further update from Jesus on that. Uh, not really. I have the information I have, basically the information that Jesus sent to the mailing list. Okay. So I have you already talked about this? If not, I can basically read through the email if you want. Yes, please do. We have not talked about it yet. Okay, so uh, basically there are a couple of students that join uh, uh, well, Chaos, and those are funded by Google Summer of Code, and they already presented themselves in the, in the mailing list, so great. Um, uh, they will they will start basically full time in a few days. Uh, the idea is that they will uh, periodically summarize the progress and, and so on. So we will see the, the outcomes of this uh, in in a few days. Um, then uh, the organizing committee for the ChaosCon North America started working. Uh, the idea is that this organizing committee will send a summary. Mm -hmm. Then, well, you were discussing about the proposals sent to, to Chaos, uh, well, under Chaos for North America, um, including uh, both on Augur and Grimoire Lab. And then there is a talk on OpenFB code review metrics, that I guess that I don't know, maybe, maybe it's between Rai and, and Jesus, and that's what about this. Um, the idea is that in terms of the software itself, Grimoire Lab is releasing uh, around one per week. Um, some of the new features during the last months were related to what we name studies, that they are basically focusing on adding new indexes and, and new panels. So we are working about the structure of the community that it's basically uh, titled as the onion uh, analysis. So you can have the core developers, uh, regular and casual developers at the level of the organization, the project, the repository. Um, and you can play with the three the three parameters. So what um, does that mean you release one a week? So uh, it, uh, first, uh, having a release once a week means that there is a new release of Grimoire Lab to change the whole infrastructure once per week. So there are bug fixing, there are new features and so on. And then I was mentioning about the last features in Grimoire Lab. Yeah, okay. okay. And one of these features were this uh, onion analysis. Then we have the areas of the code. So basically, you can go at the level of file. So you can go for the file path and look for developers' working areas and so on. And there is a new new panel about this. And basically, the migration to Elasticsearch and Kibana 6. That was initially at, at uh, 5. And then this was mentioned that there was, uh, uh, well, the two uh, Augur and, and Grimoire Lab uh, uh, YouTube presentations, well, the webinars, um, and, da, da, da. and he mentioned that the new working group on growth maturity decline metrics will start having meetings this Thursday, and that was all said by Jesus. In terms of uh, software, I'm not aware of anything else. Maybe Sean can add this. Anything else? Um, the only updates are Augur did have a release last week, which adds a bunch of uh, growth maturity decline metrics, and we're continuing to add. Uh, each of the developers, we have three developers working on it right now, and we're very getting two metrics per week. But right now, we're, um, we're also working on providing them in a more standard way so that you don't have one screen with eight metrics. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're grouping the metrics, the uh, next release will group the metrics by the working groups that we've identified. And we're also working with the Google Summer Code and Jesus on. Uh, Using Percival as a backend engine for gathering more data sets than you had torn. All right. Thank you very much. Anyone else wants to chime in? Questions, comments? I want to know like the students who are doing the goggles, uh, some of code, how are they mentored? Um, the Google uh, Jesus. And I are acting as mentors along with, um, uh, I can't remember his first name or last name. Oh, Valerio? Uh, yes, Valerio. Yep. And I think, I think there are some other folks named as mentors, but thus far we've done the core group. Okay. 
Are you interested in participating in mentoring? Yeah, sure. Okay, and who is that? Because I hear voices. But it's Armstrong. Okay, Armstrong. Okay, yeah, Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah, Arm, Armstrong. Would you mind um, sending a message indicating as much either to the mailing list or to Jesus and I, whichever you're more comfortable with? Okay. And we'll, we'll work you into those routine meetings. Okay. That will do. Wonderful. Anything else on software? No. Going once, going twice. Then we are now on the next topic. IRC, Sean, you had uh, sent a message earlier that you wanted to bring up the topic. I just wanted to ask if there's any interest or thoughts about whether or not it would be helpful to archive our IRC channel to the subscribe to some kind of service that would enable us to do that. And the reason I bring it up is the particular for our Google Summer of Code folks, if we don't have somebody monitoring the channel, um, we can lose messages. You know, no, if we're all, you know. So my thought was to throw that out there as a possibility, but I know that in some cases folks don't like the IRC channels that they're in to be archived. So I definitely didn't want to, you know, make that decision without the community's assent or yeah, it's actually being archived. I, it's sort of a default at the LF when we set it up. So let me pound into link into IRC. Uh, so you can go through this folders and, and look at all the old meeting notes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is meant to be public. Um, so, I mean. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, and then I'll post it on the chat window as well. So yeah, sorry, I didn't mention that earlier, but that's. That's where all the archives that you can find to old meeting notes. So that's wonderful. So, yeah, I'll make sure we add that to the website and wiki as well. Yeah, I mean it's right. kind of cool. Like if you, you can just uh, post a link to the old meeting notes as as minutes. So it's just a one liner. So it's uh, on the wiki page or 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 web page is perfect. So. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Anything else on IRC? Quick and sweet topic. Then we'll move on to our final point. Anything else? Anyone else wants to bring up something? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, just uh, wondering. So. Uh, we just closed the uh, proposals to send to Open Source Summit uh, North America. Um, when it, it happens that the uh, Open Source Summit in Europe will take place uh, one month and a half after this. So I don't know if we should start looking for the chaos con there in Europe. Um, I don't know if we are doing that first place, first thing, and then if so, if we are willing to send uh, proposals there, the deadline is the 1st of July, so. Uh, yeah, I yeah I, I think uh, for ChaosCon, I think the discussion was we wanted to do it just twice a year, right? I mean, once at Bosnam, uh, that's, I mean, the, the Grimoire LabCon that you, you've traditionally done that there, and then the other one was like OSS North America. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, if, if especially like I don't, I don't know what my plans are for OSS Europe, but I either me or Kate would be there. But I'm sure people in Europe, if you're interested in attending, uh, I think it's in Edinburgh, right, in, in Scotland. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, no harm in like submitting talks, and I think the CFP process is already open, right? If I'm not hmm. mistaken. When is that deadline? First of July. So there's still yeah. time. Yeah, we got a couple of months. So, okay. So, so I wanted to, to be sure about your feeling about sending proposals there and so on. But I'll be there. So, oh, yeah. the, I mean, the, by all means, right? I think that's great. But, yeah, I don't think there's any preclusion of that. If, if, yeah. if, if, just in case, if we are planning to have some uh, even small chaos con or some informative meeting or so on, it would be good to have this in advance. Because just a question here for uh, chaos con in Vancouver: Are you are, are we having this on Sunday or no? Sunday it's 28th, the, the day before the conference starts. So it's on Sunday, okay. No, that's a Tuesday, I think. Hmm. Okay, because in in, in Edinburgh, is the, the meeting, I mean, the OSS summit is on Monday, Wednesday. So if it's 
if there's something as chaos gone, it's gonna take place in Sunday. I don't know. So I, I think in uh, Edinburgh, when we go there, we will not have a separate day in advance of the um, summit, just because as Ray said, we have the one at Fasdom and the one in North America. But I do like the idea of um, scheduling something for all the Chaos members, where we get a room for a day, uh, for an hour maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, that could definitely be done, like during the week, uh, you know, like, I, I mean, I wasn't there last year in, in Prague, but if it's just a matter of just getting a room for free for like an hour or two, I, I think we can make that request, certainly. Yeah, and then it's also a question of who would show up, and in terms of proposals, uh, if you want to workshop the proposals, uh, feel free to send one to the list, and we're happy to help edit it anytime. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be going yet. I haven't thought that far in the future. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm missing the North America one, but I it's after the thing. So no, you're you're probably. right though about North America. It's odd that the events like Wednesday through Friday. Uh, but I mean maybe it was because of the issue with the venue, but it's it's a little odd that it's towards the end of the week, not like earlier. But, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. It'd be very popular if you get a session scheduled that lasts like a last slot on Friday. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was my question. Thank you. All right. Any other topics? Any other questions, concerns, comments? York. Yes, Nicole. There is one, and I just, it's more of a comment than anything else. Um, I, I just, uh, we've had been working on the Chaos website, um, and I just need to circle back and uh, see where we are with that. Um, but know that there is work happening there. Yes, so. and I think, uh, Kevin, do you want to speak to that? Uh, yes, I've been uh, I've been a little busy with our uh, the end of the semester here at the university, so I haven't pushed the changes that we've discussed. Uh, but uh, Nicole, uh, Georg, and I have met to uh, discuss modifying the website. Uh, we do have notes on that. Uh, we do have some some stuff we are planning on pushing here very shortly. And then additionally, the uh, the website is managed through a GitHub repo, so changes can be made uh, through through markdown files uh, in the, the GitHub website repo if anyone else would like to uh, make modifications or edits. Uh, but in answer to your question, uh, uh, we, I am going to push forward those changes that we've discussed, Nicole. I just, uh, uh, I've been super busy. Uh, oh, no worries. No worries. I know. I, I have too, and I kind of, you know, it's like, I, I know we yeah, I, I I know it's work in progress, and um, I've I've been in the same boat, so no wor no worries. Uh, but my my hope is that I can get that stuff pushed here within the next week or so. Awesome, yeah. thank you. And then Ray, we're gonna approach you about making changes to the menu structure because we still don't have access to that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just let me know, and then if I don't respond, just flag me, and uh, okay. I'll, I'll get our web people's attention. I think at some point you had said you were going to uh, uh, that you could possibly give us an introduction to the uh, the IT people. Uh, yeah, I mean that was when we thought we we're gonna just move completely over to GitHub. Okay, but, gotcha. Uh, but I mean, I think it would be like your creative services folks that I can I can reach out, but just let me know. Okay. But, yeah, I know who to reach out to. So. Thank you. And yeah, one cool. of the changes that we'll have to make to the menu is to add Chaos Con. Mm -hmm. And okay. Kevin and I will get together and start on the website here shortly. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Any other topics? Well, we finished our meeting in less than 45 minutes.
Good job, yeah, everyone. Just... Staying on track. Did you have something, Sean? No, I said. All right. He was. He... He was, he was, happy. he us. was approving. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess my mic didn't quite work. I said, yay us. Yay us. Just as a note, I did try to record this to upload it. If anyone does not want this uh, to be uploaded for whatever reason, just shoot me an email and I'll make sure not to post this. Um, unless, of course, my recording doesn't work, it'll be on the YouTube channel shortly. Thank you, everyone. I just have a question. How many oh. people will be attending the OpenStack uh, events in Vancouver? Uh, I'll be there at least part of the week. Uh, OK. Anyway, because I'll be there, and I think I'll, I'll attend all the events of the summit. OK, cool. Yeah, I, I think, obviously, like Nicole's there, I, th I think at least three of us, it sounds like. But... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Yep. OK, then that's good. All right. Thank you, everyone. It right. was good right. talking Thank to you. you. Thank you. Keep Thank working. You. Thanks, and Okay. Have a good rest Bye. of your day. Bye. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Bye. Bye.